hello out there welcome to this tutorial the topic is directed numbers in this video we'll be looking at the number line so here we'll quickly show us a typical number line um, normally if you have a number line you have uh, the center of the line probably is zero and to the right of zero are positive numbers in ascending order starting from one two three four and it continues and to the left of zero we have negative numbers starting from negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five and so on this is a typical number line so we'll be using this number line to carry out addition and subtraction of directed numbers directed numbers are positive and negative numbers including zero so we start with the first problem problem one use number line to solve the following a two plus six b two minus six c negative two plus six d negative two minus six and e negative four plus four so we start with a uh, a part of the problem starting with the a part of the problem we draw the number line in this case it is not a must we have zero so we start we can start from two since two is the beginning of the problem so we can start from two three four five six seven eight nine and we have moved to the right because this is positive since it is positive we start from two and move to the right and then we can come back to add one and zero before two and now uh, we are going to start the movement of our step from two since this is positive so we'll be moving each step in the right direction so we move from two one two three four five six we are stopping at the sixth step because it is two plus six so and our answer is where we stopped which is eight therefore two plus six is equal to eight then the b part of the problem in the b part of the problem again we draw a number line here we are going to start from two and when we start from two we move in the left direction because it is negative here so we have a two one zero negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five and so on so we just add the remaining step so which is three and four and now we have two here so we are going to start with uh, two we are going to move to the left direction because the operation here is negative we we'll move six times so moving six steps we have one two three four five six so this is our destination and the value there gives the solution to the problem so that two minus six gives negative four so we go to problem c for problem c again we draw our number line drawing our number line we are going to start the numbering from negative two and this time around we move to the right direction so that we will now have it as negative two negative one zero one two three four five and uh, here we can add negative three negative four to fill in the remaining space now we start again from negative two 
because negative 2 is starting the problem and we'll be moving to the right direction because it is positive then we'll now move six times if we have seven here we'll move seven steps if we have nine here we'll move nine steps if we have ten there we we'll move ten steps if you have eleven there you we'll move eleven steps and so on and so forth so we'll be moving six times so we now have it as one two three four five six so since this is our destination the value there is four so therefore negative two plus six gives four that is the solution to problem c we go to problem d for problem d again we start we draw our number line drawing our number line just like in c we start from negative two but this time around we'll be moving in the left direction so we have it as negative two negative three negative four up till negative nine and here we can have negative one and zero so to move now we are starting from negative two and since this is negative we'll be moving to the left direction and we'll move six steps to the left direction because we have six here so we now move one two three four five six so this is our destination we stop here and the value there is negative eight therefore negative two minus six gives negative eight then we go to e part of the problem for the e part of the problem uh drawing our number line we start from negative four but here again we move to the right direction so that we now have negative four negative three negative two up to four now we can fill this place with negative five and negative six uh, the number at the beginning here is negative 4 so our starting point is negative 4 and this is plus we'll be moving to the right direction and the number of steps we are going to move is 4 steps so we move 1 2 3 4 we stop there since that is our destination and the value there is 0 therefore negative 4 plus 4 gives 0 that is the solution of problem 1e and the end of that problem we go to problem 2 in problem 2 solve each of the following using number line so we have a negative 4 plus negative 4 b positive 3 minus negative 4 so to start the solution of the problem we start from a starting from a we need to remove the bracket since this is negative 4 it will still be maintained as negative 4 now coming here positive times negative gives negative so we have it the operation as minus 4 so we are going to use number line to evaluate negative 4 minus 4 so drawing our number line here again we are going to start with negative 4 and since this is minus we move to the left direction so that we now have negative 4 negative 5 negative 6 up to negative 9 we can add to the right here to be negative 3 and negative 2 now our starting point is the first number which is negative 4 starts from negative 4 we'll be moving to the left direction so moving to the left direction we are moving four steps we are moving four steps so that we now have it as one two three four so at our stopping point and the value there is negative 8 
so the solution to the problem 2a is negative 8 so we go to b for 2b this is plus 3 so it is positive 3 and positive 3 can just be written as 3 so that we now have 3 there negative times negative is positive so the operation there is going to be plus 4 so therefore we now use number line to evaluate 3 plus 4 so that our number line is given here so from here our starting point is 3 so we start from 3 we are moving to the right direction because this is positive and the number of steps we are going to move is 4 so we move 1, 2, 3, 4. And the value we have at the stopping point is 7. Therefore, our answer is 7. This is the end of the solution to problem 2. And this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Until we come your way again. Goodbye.